If you're still using ice on a bad knee, you should stop until you've watched this video. If you don't know who I am, my name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And my goal with these videos is to make them more valuable than any pays treatment you've had in the past. Now, obviously this is gonna shock some people, but many people are using ice on their knee and the very act of using the ice is stopping their knee problem from getting better. So in today's video, I'm gonna explain why that is and what to do instead. Now to understand what's happening, we need to first talk about knee injuries and what happens. So let's say you've fallen and you've hit your knee really badly. You've been to A&E, you've had an x-ray, nothing's broken, but you've got a really swollen and painful knee. And for the first three or four days after this injury, the swelling will probably get worse, the bruising will come out and it will be very, very painful. So in the first three or four days after an injury, ice would be the perfect treatment. And the reason ice would be the perfect treatment is because ice basically slows down blood flow to an injured area. So if we slow down the blood flow to an area, we can reduce the swelling, we can reduce the inflammation, we can flush some of the bruising out. And the other thing ice does is it reduces pain because it dampens down the signals that go from the bad knee up to the brain. So for the first three or four days, ice works really well. Now the problem is if people are still using ice from day seven up to day 14, up to day 21, and on and on and on, sometimes for years, what happens is the swelling and the inflammation has gone away, but we're still reducing the blood flow to the bad knee. So what happens when we use ice is the following, okay? So we put ice on our bad knee, we're reducing swelling, which is often a good thing, we're reducing pain, which is often a good thing, but because we've reduced the blood flow so badly, we're also slowing down healing. Now, healing happens when healthy blood flow reaches an injured area, including the knee, and that allows new healthy tissue to grow in the place of bad tissue, and the blood that's leaving the area takes away any damage or debris. So that's how healing occurs. And if we're chronically icing our knee after three or four days following the injury, we might actually be slowing down healing. And there are studies that show this. I've included a link to one such study in the description of this video. And it shows that chronic ice use on an injured area over and over again past the acute phase is the wrong thing to do if we want healing to occur. So if we're going to stop using ice after the first week of an injury, what do we do instead? Well, the answer is different for everyone, but for many people, the answer is to switch to heat. When I'm talking about heat, I mean a hot water bottle or a wheat cushion or maybe a hot bath or a hot shower. And what this does is the opposite of ice. It opens up the blood vessels around the area. It increases blood flow, but because the injury started to heal, we shouldn't get too much in the way of swelling. But what it will do is it will speed up that tissue turnover so things start to heal more quickly. Now, many people I see who've got arthritis or a meniscus injury or an old ligament injury that just won't get better, don't have sufficient blood flow to the area. And that's why the tissues are not getting better, or it's one of the reasons why it's taking so long for them to heal. And then when we start applying heat to the area, we increase the blood flow, which speeds up the healing, and finally the injury starts to get better. So that's generally what I tell my clients if they've had an old injury, it's longer than a few weeks old, switch to heat if you're not making progress because heat might speed it up. Obviously this advice is not suitable for everyone, so do take this with a pinch of salt, do consult your own healthcare professional to make sure this is suitable for you. If you're still icing that knee, try switching to heat instead and hopefully it will improve the problem. Anyway, that's all I had to say today. I hope that video has been useful. If it has, please hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel below. And if you want to get more from me, you can pick up a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and it's got loads more tips, tricks and strategies like this one inside. And it's also a great way to support the channel. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to speaking to you on the next video.